everybody I just wanted to talk to you quickly about these little dudes so these are called cut burrs I think you can buy them individually but um, I've only ever bought them as a pack you can see and what they are are little mandrels so that's what they call the long steel bit with a tiny cut burr on the end I'm going to show you a close-up of these in a minute the cut burr is like a file but the teeth of the file, the cutting teeth, are inside a little cup shape so they're contained within that little cup shape at the top and they are perfect for filing the ends of prong settings so this is what I'm going to show you now like I say I'm going to do a little close up of doing it by hand and I'm going to show you how you can speed up the process as well okay so here they are, it's a little set, all the cups are different sizes depending on the size of the wire that you're wanting to burr to round off and you just need to find the one that fits snugly but fully onto your the end of your wire so this is um one mil wire I used in the end had to think about it there um, and it's a little one mil cup burr so that fits nicely on there and I could just sit and twiddle it on the end of the wire by hand but it's going to be easy and more comfortable if I pop it into a little vise of some sort so you can get these little Devices, really cheap online and all it is is a handle that lets you pop different things in and out of it to make it a little bit easier and more comfortable to hold and then I'm going to pop it onto the end of my claw and just give it a little turn and that's going to file the end of that claw into a nice round smooth finish it's also absolutely perfect for earrings so any of you have made your own ear wires before I don't know if you find it difficult to smooth the end of them so um, if I was just to file the end of this wire flat it would still be a little bit jaggy for putting into my ear whereas if you round it off it's going to be a lot smoother so, nice and round nice and smooth not going to be jaggy not going to draw blood when you put it in and out of your ear which obviously is what we want and it just saves an awful lot of time um, rounding the ends manually or sanding them to get them really really lovely and smooth uh, a little set um, I can't really, really remember maybe about 20 30 pounds so they're not the cheapest thing in the world like I said I'm pretty sure you can buy them individually but if you're making a lot of claw settings or a lot of ear wires they really do speed things up and now I'm going to show you how to speed it up even more here I've got my Dremel, it's on a flex shaft, but you can do this with absolutely any rotary tool. Let me unhook it so you can see it. Oh, Dremel 4000. Um, but the important thing is you want to do this at a fairly slow speed. So if you've only got a rotary tool or a power tool that goes like the absolute clappers, you might want to get something that's a little bit slower and easier to control. Um, one of the posts I did a while ago was about a little um, cordless rotary tool from Lidl and it's about £16 and it's fab and it goes really, really slowly. It's just nowhere near as powerful as the sort of more premium versions, but it does the job. I've tied my hair back, got some goggles on and I'm going to turn this on. So like I said, it's on the slower speed. So now that little burr is rotating in here and now I can push it down onto the end of that prong and it's just rounding it off without scratching the stone, which is what we want. Lola barking. Oh. <laughs> There you go, so it's rounding it off nice and quickly. It's not damaging the stone. Now the only problem is, I can't guarantee it won't damage all stones, but if stones are soft enough to be damaged by the edge of a smooth bit of metal, then they're probably too soft to claw set in the first place, because when you push the claws over, the chances are they would crack. So with claw setting in general, you only really want to be doing it with stones that are sort of medium on the hardness scale up to harder ones rather than something that's super super soft like an opal because um, you don't want to crack it or scratch it but there you go little cup burrs speeds up the job no end